A very good morning and welcome back to the brief at 30, the first brief of the day where we bring you accurate news in brief. On to your local news. The convener of the Federation of National Organizations, Dr. Gunadasa Amrasekara, said that Ranil Vikramasinghe does not have a public mandate to implement the 13th Amendment to the Constitution. Ranil Vikramasinghe Mahatmya Kirtina, oh, that too many sons of the name, some poor and immigrant. Ranil Vikramasinghe has said he is ready to implement the 13th Amendment completely. He has been saying this from a long time. In fact, he has mentioned earlier that there won't be any problems in the northern and northeastern part of the country as he will resolve everything. That is why he is saying that he will implement the 13th Amendment. I am asking what sort of authority does he have to say such things? He wasn't appointed to implement the 13th Amendment nor to create political revolution. He was given the task of continuing what Gotabe Rajpaksha left behind. And now on to news overseas. Jacinda Ardern has announced that she will quit as New Zealand's Prime Minister next month. She was saying that she was, quote, no longer has enough in the tank to lead, unquote. She detailed how six challenging years in the job had taken a toll. Ardern will step down as Labour Party leader no later than the 7th of February. There will be a vote in the coming days to determine her replacement. New Zealand will hold a general election on the 14th of October. Arden became the youngest female head of government in the world when she was elected Prime Minister in 2017, aged 37. On to sports stories, India claimed a thrilling 12-run victory over New Zealand after Shubman Gill scored a double century and Mohamed Siraj picked up four wickets as they kicked off their one-day international series in Hyderabad on Wednesday. The 23-year-old opener scored 208 of 149 balls with 19 fours and 9 sixers as he helped India set New Zealand a target of 350. Apart from Gill, the rest of India's batting order struggled to add runs with captain Rohit Sharma making the second highest contribution with 34. Virat Kohli could only manage eight runs. New Zealand opener Finalan made 40 but the rest of the batsmen did very little until Michael Bracewell made 140 runs hitting 12 fours and 10 sixers as he kept the visitors in the contest and took the game until the final over, where he was the last player to be sent packing as they were bowled out with four balls to spare. The second ODI will be in Rajpur on Saturday, followed by the third game in Indo on Tuesday. The teams are due to play three 2020 internationals after the ODI series. That's all the news for now. Await the brief at 30 throughout the day with me, Sandro Satyajit. Take care.